this video is to show you how I want the voltage divider seen here hooked up onto your board. So initially what you should do is just get the resistors needed, the four resistor values, and in this case here a 2N2222 transistor from your kit. So the 2N2222 transistor has a metal canister, such as this one here. All right, so the 3904 would be a plastic canister like that. So, what I want you to do is take the 2222. What you'll notice on the 2222 or on the metal canisters is that there's a little part that sticks out right over here. Right, so if I grab it, you'll see that on the very top. There's a little protruding part right there. You see it on the right hand side. So the pin right underneath that one there is your emitter, followed by the center one, which is the base, and the last one, which is your collector. If I'm asking you for a the 3904, well then we're looking at this guy here with the plastic canister. This one here, it's a half circle. So you have a flat side right here. So on the flat side, the pin on the left hand side would be the emitter, followed by the center one, which is the base, and the one on the right hand side, which is the collector. So what I'll do now is I'll take the 2222. If you've noticed, the little protruding part is on the left hand side. I'll take it, I'll position it, all right, so just to get a closer look, you'll have the protruding part on the left, which means that the pin right here is the emitter, followed by the base in the center and the collector. So if we look at the schematic diagram, the emitter, which is on the left-hand side, the center is the base, and this one here is the collector, which was the pin on the right-hand side right over here. So what we'll do is we'll take the first resistor, the R1. We're going to hook it up on VCC, which is your red band running across there. We'll just lay it in to one of the holes in that new section there. We're going to take a resistor for R2, which has to be hooked up to R1. So we'll take that resistor, We'll hook it up right over here so that it's now connected to the R1. The negative side or the other side of the resistor is going to my ground, which will be my negative, which is this band right here. So we'll put that in. Right, so now what we need to add would be a wire from where these two meet to the base. So once again, for the purpose of the video and the fact that I'm holding up the camera in one hand and working with my left hand, it's not going to be neat, but what I want you to do is put that jumper in from that point right there where both resistors meet and the base of the transistor right there. We'll take the emitter stabilizer or the resistor which will be hooked up to the emitter and we'll put it on the emitter, which, as we said, we've identified is the pin on the left-hand side. So from the left-hand side, we'll put one end of the resistor there, and in the other end, the ground as well. So what I'm going for here is, if we look at what I'm assembling and my schematic diagram, I have R1 followed by R2, RE in parallel. R1 followed by R2, and RE in parallel. The only resistor we're missing right now is the RC. So the RC is right here on the upper right hand side. It'll go to the collector. The collector, as we've said, is the pin right here. But the resistor is going to have to go on top because it's running parallel to our R1. 
So we'll take the other resistor, we'll put it on our positive, and then we'll put it in to join the collector. All right, there we go. So we'll try to line them up as much as possible so it looks like our schematic diagram. If it's off a little, it's not bad. What I, what I don't want you to do is switch these two values or switch these two values. It's really R1, R2, RC, and RE. If I ask you to measure VCE, VCE is between this point and this point, collector emitter. I don't want you to start putting your multimeter in and trying to find a, a place where you can get in to the transistor leads. This guy here is your emitter, right? So it's it's hooked up to this resistor right here. So all of this lead is the emitter. The collector, same thing. This is going to your collector. So if I ask you for VC, you'll be taking your leads and you're gonna be going through this point and this point here, and that's your VC. VBE would be base to emitter. So my base, this wire here is going to my base, so I can put my lead on this resistor or that resistor, anywhere here, and my emitter is right here. So between this point and that point there.